Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to take our paper patterns and turn them into sign blanks. All right, so this video is about how to take the paper pattern, turn it into a, an MDF pattern with screws, and then you can use that to cut your sign blanks. This is a process that dad taught me way, way back. So we've been using this process for, I don't know, 40 plus years. Now, many people use a scroll saw, great. They use a, a band saw, fine. They use a, a CNC to make their shapes, whatever. This is just a process that we use that has been working for us well. And what we use is a spiral up cut bit with the template guide. So we're gonna take you through the whole entire process. We've done this on videos in the past, but it's been a bunch of years. So we wanted to just bring an updated version to that because you guys have been asking. So here we go. Now you can find these paper cutouts on our website, makeawoodsign.com, but really you can do this with any pattern. If you want to cut it out yourself, it doesn't really matter. This is just to get the line on the board for you to follow with your eighth inch spiral up cut. When you tape your pattern down, try to use as small a piece of tape as you can because once you take the paper off, you're going to have to fill in those spaces and the smaller they are, the easier it's going to be to fill those in, especially if you're like me and have zero artistic ability. When you're cutting all the way through a piece, you want to make sure to have something underneath that the router bit isn't going to damage. Dad likes using this foam because that's less resistance on the router bit as you're going through. Now with this 8th inch spiral, we're using this to make sure we get as close to the lines as we can. It's a lot harder to do that with a quarter inch spiral because you can't get into as tight of spaces. So dad's taken this eighth inch and he's going about a quarter of an inch deep to make room for the quarter inch spiral and cut all the way through. A little public service announcement for you guys. If you're gonna cut MDF, wear a respirator. This stuff, if you're just sucking it in and breathing in all that sawdust, it is going to make you sick and you're going to hate life for about three days. When you're setting a router bit to cut all the way through a piece of wood, you want to set the depth to where it just barely clears it. Remember, the farther this bit sticks out from the collet, the more dangerous it is, the more likely that it might snap on you. So take it just deep enough to where it goes all the way through. For this cut, don't worry too much about getting the smoothest edge you possibly can. You just want to follow the groove that's already there. You'll go back and touch it up once this piece is all cut out. Now you can go back and smooth out that edge a little bit. It's actually pretty easy. It looks kind of difficult, but it's really not that hard. Remember, you take a little bit of time making this pattern, and then to do your cutout blanks for signs you're gonna sell, man, it is a breeze. It goes super fast. Then just sand off the edge to get it as smooth as you can for that router bit template guide to write on. 
So we've got our pattern cut. We got it sanded down, nice smooth edges, exactly what we want. Now we got to figure out how we're going to hold it down on our eventual sign. Now, many people have used two-sided tape. You can absolutely use that. You could use the blue tape and star bond trick that I really love. But in this particular instance, because we're going to assume that we're going to cut a lot of multiples of this, we need something a little bit better than just two-sided tape. That tends to be a kind of time consuming. So what we're going to do is we're going to put screws in. So when you put your screws in, be sure and turn the pattern around the opposite way that you want your sign to face. Because you remember, you're cutting from the back. Now when you make your marks to put your screws in, you want to make sure that you put enough in that it actually sits pretty flat. If there's a little bit of space, it's not that big a deal. You just want this thing to be solid in there as you're using the router. We used one inch square head screws because this is 5 8 inch MDF. Might have should have probably used a little bit shorter screw, but this is all we had and it worked just fine. Now this is where keeping your original base plate really comes in handy. This template guide is a must. Don't try to do this without a template guide. And the template guide doesn't fit in our base plate, so we always recommend that you keep your original plate. Then all you gotta do is knock this pattern on the board a little bit and follow it with the template guide carefully and you're good to go. So that's how we do it guys, that's the entire process. Now we have a couple old videos where we went through this process and then we took it a step further where we made an HDPE pattern from our uh, MDF pattern. So we'll put links in the description below so you can go check those out. This MDF pattern will probably cut 100 pieces before it really starts going bad. So it will last you a long time. We used 5 8 MDF, it's nice and sturdy. So it will cut a lot of pieces for you. But if you want to go maybe more than 100, I would suggest take your MDF pattern and take that and make an HDPE pattern and then that will last basically a lifetime. Those things just never go bad. If you don't know what HDPE is, that's that cutting board material. Stuff is almost impervious. So that is pretty much the process. It's pretty simple. Just be real careful, guys. That spiral upcut bit, when it's sticking out of that router, yeah, it, it will cut flesh a lot easier than it'll cut wood. So as uh, James Hamilton says, you are the softest thing in your shop. So don't, uh, don't take any chances, just be careful. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. I hope this was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one, bye-bye.